For those of you who have never seen one of my videos before, I'm Amazon Kane. I'm a writer, I'm obsessed with Angela Anaconda, I do rewatch videos such as this one, and my ultimate goal is to run an official reboot of the series, and you can even see what that would look like on my channel, as I organized a small team to revamp the theme song. This week's episode is Garbage Swingers. It is famous World Monuments of the World Week. I am especially proud of mine on account of it is made completely out of edible candy, which can be eaten. Great hmm. model of the Parson Mount Angela Anaconda. How ingenious of you to use confectionery-based building materials. Hey! Sorry, my Taj Mahal isn't edible in the least. To think I could have made it out of Mr. Tasty Twirl ice cream. And to think she almost sabotaged her friend. Okay. Johnny Abadi, what are you doing up there? It's not just me up here. It's my Uncle Nicky, too. Yo, <laughs> Uncle Nicky got in trouble for driving around with no license plates. He's got to do community service with the sanitation department for a whole week. Driving with no license plates? That's usually an attempt to conceal the fact that... Hey, 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 don't you kids got school or what? Yeah. Hey, can we have a ride, Uncle Nicky? I love how he has the fuzzy dice on it. Well, a free ride's a free ride. She is a selfish bitch. What's that, Johnny Abadi? It's my World Monument Society. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. Pun. Uh oh. Hey, look, it's Nanette. Nanette, it's me, Johnny, and Angela, and Gina, too. A garbage truck? <laughs> this is rich. Strange interest on that end. Unrealistic dream, Angela. Ew, I think I smell garbage. I think I smell garbage even more. Maybe that's because Angela Anaconda and the people standing with her drive around in a sanitation vehicle, which is the polite way of saying a garbage truck. <laughs> I love how that makes them cool. thing to say. The war for attention. <laughs> that was Angela's idea too, I bet. <laughs> Normally I'd see something like that at the end of the episode. Ooh, dumpster diving. Joining them. Yikes. You might want to sanitize those first. And you know, it looks like a mauled fish. Okay, that's a cool hair effect. No need to be so cruel to Nanette there. But but then there'd be no show if there wasn't cruelty. We're just going through your trash. Out of my way, kids. I got this one. What is he doing? Apparently trying to make some sort of impression. The male bend and snap. Season one. They think they're too perfect to even have garbage. Regardless, Angela Anaconda, we have a civic duty to collect from all the And I like the idea in this episode too, learning about the townsfolk through their garbage. I'm with Uncle Mickey on that one. I don't see nothing. Just garbage. Perhaps our expectations were too high. Perhaps not, Gina Lab. Uncle Mickey was right. It is gold. We, we are rich! 
gold plated. It's just one of Mrs. Brink's stellar student star pins. You mean the one she awards every month to a new winner who is always in the net? <laughs> Favoritism. Finders keepers. Forgive us for disrupting your quaint schoolmate lunches. But perhaps it would be I love how over the top their lunch settings are. Really trying to milk this. It's not even a good insult. Which is French for dirty. I strongly suggest that anyone who has been associated with said garbage truck riffraff move immediately to their table. Everyone else in class is invited to join those of us with class. Concentrate for one meatball. Then that's not too much of a threat in this one. And it's kind of amusing. Who can find France on the map? Oh, um, well, class dismissed. Hmm. Jealous. Hey, 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 out of my way, lady. I'm, <laughs> I'm Mrs. Brinks. Mrs. Brinks? I didn't do nothing. Well, <laughs> Nicholas Fancy Pants and Bobby. I should have known. Step off that truck this instant, you hoodlum. You should be ashamed. Wow. <laughs> Uncle Nicky cannot catch a break. In this. As it was her idea. I guess you'll just have to ride to school like a normal clean person, Angela Anna Garbage. <laughs> okay, now that's a little more of a threat, but ruining their fun for jealousy. Okay, this is a perfect time for the revenge fantasy. <laughs> kind of like the anti-enchanted. Also, the idea that Nanette wears a bathing cap, uh, a swim cap to take a bath. Ridiculous. The visual style in this revenge fantasy is awesome. Whoa, trash compactor, very violent. <laughs> I love Angela's mustache there. That sewage was poisoned. Anaconda, you're late. I would send you straight to the principal. If it weren't for your outstanding world monument project. What? I just love the peppermint columns. And did you see the nougat Athena statue inside? Ooh, looks good enough to eat. Mrs. Briggs, are you sure that you want to eat something Bribery. carted around in a garbage truck? Thank you for that reminder, Lynette. I've suddenly lost my appetite. Did I mention that my monument is made only of the finest imported building marzipan from France? Far more expensive than cheap domestic candy. <gasps> Bribery. Oops. Sorry, Angela Anaconda. But look at the bright side. Now your Greek ruins are really ruined. It's tray more authentic. Well, isn't this stunning? My congratulations, Nanette, dear. Huh. This is truly the best monument in the class. I would say this calls for a stellar student star. Oh, Mrs. Briggs, since Nanette is so concerned about recycling, maybe you should give her this stellar student star, which I found in 
go. Not feeling like stroking your ego, Mrs. Brinks. <laughs> Episode. What I like the most about it is its idea. I love the idea that it's Uncle Nicky who has to do community service for getting in trouble with the law. I like the idea that the kids are helping him. I like the idea that it actually makes them cool. I would have liked to see more from a character development point of view because you can learn so many dirty secrets about people through their trash. I like the fact that it's a small story. I like the idea that Angela and Annette are battling for attention. With that being said, there are some flaws. The biggest thing is the pacing, and that means the speed that the story is told. This is an issue I see in a couple of episodes, well, quite often in the show, because oftentimes it feels very choppy, and it's very talky, and the jokes get a little repetitive instead of building on top of each other. For example, Nanette tries to uh, embarrass Angela by saying she's playing in a garbage truck. She says that two to three times instead of trying a new tactic. I do like the idea that she is slowly getting more annoyed with how much attention Angela is getting. But she tries the same tactic a couple different times instead of switching it up. And even the conclusion of the episode goes on a little bit longer than you'd think it would. An example of pacing done very well in this show is the episode Dr. Ducksworthy. It has a simple premise. When Johnny loses his lucky sock, Angela gives him an imitation, only to find out it brings him bad luck. It continues to build. Johnny's luck gets worse and worse. Angela's guilt increases, and she has to get him the original sock back. When it comes to the worst moment, when things couldn't possibly get any worse, Angela thinks Johnny's going to be losing his brain in an operation. That's when the fantasy sequence happens. And then the conclusion, Angela's able to give Johnny his lucky sock back. So it's a tight story that builds on top of itself. It takes an idea and runs with it. Whereas episodes like this one don't build up on top of themselves. Oftentimes the character's actions feel repetitive or unwarranted. And even in this episode, Garbage Swingers, Angela definitely gets back at Nanette for <laughs> no reason. So she gets back at her for making fun of her, but then continues. So it doesn't always make her look like she's in the right. And it doesn't... Lesser episodes tend to meander a little bit. Or a lot. This one, not so much. This one has a tight idea, but the execution meanders a little bit. But again, it is a good idea, and it can be done. It can be done well, and it can be done with a ton of fun. I love the revenge fantasy. The revenge fantasy came at a good time because that was the point I was getting most annoyed with Nanette. So, well-deserved vengeance. I appreciate the violence. The look of that one is particularly creative. There's a lot of wide open space. It really takes advantage of the collage look. And they have a lot of different visuals in it. It's an explosion of imagination. Yeah, it is also a very talk-heavy episode, too. And that's something that's also noticeable in the show, particularly in the earlier episodes. And this is a season one episode. The production order must have been different because Gordy's not even... He's there, but he's not really with the friend group yet even though earlier episodes did establish that so production does happen out of order in, in a lot of cases I still love him he's a great character and he's 90 95% of the show he is yeah here like someone has pointed out to me he does feel more like one of the eccentric classmates and I definitely like him better with the group overall though this episode has some really, really good ideas. I would like to see them tweaked a little bit more. That's actually something that would be fun to do. Since I want to reboot the show, one possibility is revive some of these episodes, rewrite some of them, 
where they are a little more consistent, where they expand on characters a little more, where visuals and dialogue have a little bit more balance, and the story and the jokes build on top of each other instead of feeling repetitive. Angela talks in repetitions, that's a great quirk, but sometimes within the same episode, it can get very wordy and the same joke or the same tactic will be used. This could be a really, really fun one to play with. Again, I love the idea. There are some really, really good ideas in this one and they can be expanded on even further. Those are my thoughts this week. See you later when you see me. Later.